everyone! Yesterday was day 21. Um, I didn't get to share the gospel until last night. So here is the update. Um, we went to the grocery store and while we were walking in there was this family. Two little, little girls and a husband and a wife and I felt like I should share with them but I didn't. And we went inside and we were looking for a basket and there wasn't a basket so then I went back out and they were getting in their car and I chased them down right before they got in their car. I was like wait! They had, like they'd all gotten in and the husband was about to get in and close the door and I said wait I have to give this to you. It's a million dollar bill. It talks about Jesus and how much um, he loved you, that he died for you, taking the punishment and the penalty for your sin. Um, and they said, thank you. And, and that was it. Uh, and then uh, while we were in the store, because we were in a store, um, we went to <clears throat> go over and look at the uh, chips. And there was a couple guys there. And David um, said, you know, here, I wanted to give this to you. He talks about Jesus and I can't remember everything he shared but we talked to them for a little bit two younger men I said one of them said uh, he's not really that religious and the other one said yeah he's pretty he has a good relationship with God and I said is Jesus the Lord of your life does he call a hundred percent of the shots and you don't call any and he said yeah and David was like he calls a hundred percent of the shots um, and he was like no <laughs> and so we shared that Jesus is the only way out of debt, out, you know, out of prison, out of captivity. Um, that we're, I can't remember what he was saying, if he said we're in prison or we're in debt to God, but he shared um, something and I said, Jesus is the only way out. It's not in, you know, people try to get out through good works and they try to get out through um, doing other things, but Jesus is the only way out. There is no other way. And so, um, there was that encounter and then at the very end we were checking out and um, I said the guy's name was Eduardo and I said Eduardo where are you at with Jesus at the at the end of him ringing us up and he's like oh um, I don't know and I said it's a good question isn't it and he said yeah I haven't been to church in a while and we said well it's not about church it's about knowing God and being in relationship with him and um, we shared about, I can't remember, David shared something. I don't remember what he shared, but at the end I said, um, are you in a relationship? And he said, yeah. Um, and I said, do you want to talk to your, well, he said I have, I, he has a partner. I don't, you never know today if partner means a homosexual relationship or a straight relationship because um, people these days are using the term for both. So I said, do you want, to when you want to talk to your partner do you want to talk directly to them or do you want to talk to someone to talk to them and he said well I want to talk directly to them and I said the same is true with God he doesn't want you going uh, to a pope or a priest to someone else to talk to him he wants you to talk directly to him because this guy grew up Catholic and he said oh that that makes sense you know thanks for sharing I never thought of it like that and we grabbed our bags and we're going but we said you know turn to Jesus trust in Jesus so it was a very brief encounters in the grocery store um, but there was three of them and uh, before I wouldn't have run back to give a tract to the family in the car and I wouldn't have asked Eduardo where he's at with Jesus I would have kept my mouth silent and just been like do I do this no now not the time and all that confusion and fear would come up so I'm grateful to God that he is breaking fear off of me and hesitation off of me and working and moving in so many ways so I pray this video blesses you and encourages you to share the gospel in your everyday life um, with the people that are right in your path so be blessed have a blessed and a beautiful day a day filled with God's beauty bye